Miles, by what sword do you wish to be knighted? The great sword of state. And by what name would you be made a knight? Miles the Drown. Let all here bear witness that this is the true great sword of state, the symbol of temporal power of the king of the West. Miles, in the name of loyalty, I dub thee once. In the name of honor, I dub thee twice. And in the name of heroic valor, I dub thee knight. Bow thy head. Know now that you are made knight, that it is your duty to seek justice for those of every station, to uphold the laws and people of the kingdom of the West, to serve the crown with undying loyalty, Know that knighthood is a great burden as well as a great honor, and that it shall indeed bring you pain as well as honor. Let this blow that you are about to receive be the last blow you ever take without seeking just retribution. Now do we, Jade, King by right of arms of the Kingdom of the West, proclaim you, Miles, Knight. Rise, Sir Miles Fitzroy. <laughs> are there spurs? There are. Let all know the history of these spurs, Your Excellency. These spurs are mine. These old, battered spurs were given to me um, by Countess Nick Lorraine, Elisette, the uh, squire of Paula Bellatrix. And she spoke for both at my knighting. I was honored, and am honored, to stand here now. I was honored when you asked me, Sir Miles. Most of us don't wear spurs, and I don't find them to be a particular piece of regalia that have moved me much until recently, because I thought about you and what you have done for me. They talk about being spurred on to greater acts of valor or chivalry. And Miles, I left the society for a good half decade, and you were one of the first people I, I met, interacted with when I came back. And the spirit the honor, the fidelity, the, uh, the hardiness with which you have met me, your lion-like demeanor upon the battlefield, uh, the moments we've shared have added spirit to me, have spurred me on. And I can think of nothing better to pass on to you than spurs that I have held since the day I was knighted. Thank you, Your Excellency, well spoken. Please put the spurs on our candidate, or on our newest knight, that all may see he bears the mark of his station. Is there a chain? Yes, sir, is your majesty. Sir Loy, great knight of our kingdom, please come forward and let all know the history of this chain. I hold in my hand a relic known as the ancient chain, the chain of champions. 
For those who do not know this chain, a long time ago, Duke Houghton built this chain. It was common for knights of that time to receive their chains in a box next to the crown. During the day, they would take a chain and that would be a symbol of their fealty to the crown to that day. William Houghton decided to make one. This is the first chain that was built by him. I have here a lineage. Thank you. 33 knights so far have been on this chain. William Houghton, Christopher Houghton, Radnor Gildemar, Thomas the Incomplete, Wolf Sagan von Austin, <laughs> Liam von Schrecken, Artemis Maximus, Philip Harlick of Exeter, James Gale Mactier, Jade of Starfall, Richard of Aldertree, Alfred of Carlisle, Richard of Greyfall, Vinyamin, I'm not going to say the rest. Stefanovich Medvednego Kotev. Christopher of York. Brian of Beltrix. Uther Shaman der Hunt. Maynard von Denstein. Gaston de Clermont. Reimar Wolfmare. Titus Scipio Germanicus. Tristan Sexwolf. Derek Ivanik, Ivanovic, <coughs> Leotoff of the Silver Hill, Bren McMillan, Wark Skogan, Evander Gunnarsson, Thetis Blaney, Sigafris Hoffnet, Fernando Miguel de Valencia, Theodric Bativi, <coughs> me, Loy Shaman de Kleina, and the last, Eric Herdrati. May you rest in peace. 21 links on this chain, 33 knights. That's more knights than the links. There are more kingdom reigns than links on this chain. There is twice as many if you add principality reigns. This is a relic in the kingdom of the West. And Miles, there's no better deserving man than you. Thank you so much for speaking the lineage of this great chain. The last man who received this chain from our hands is no longer a man of this earth. I believe his spirit resides in this chain, along with the great deeds of the many who have worn it before you. Wear it as a symbol of your fealty, and know that the bond between you and the Knights of the West can never be broken and you have always with it the love of the crown. Is there a belt? John, do you want to speak the history of the belt? Oh. The belt has a long but limited history. It was made by, uh, by Duke Henrik of Hahn and Count Stephen Black Eagle. It was presented to me at my, my, my knighting 41 years ago. I am the only knight that has worn it, but now it passes to my son, Sir Miles.
shared hug. So congratulations, and we are so proud of you. And now, Sir Miles, we greet you as our brother and commend you to your peers. that their majesties, Jade and Catherine, King and Queen of the West, do on this day create their subject, Miles Fitzrolf, Knight, and do admit him into the right noble order of chivalry, and do confirm his right to bear his arms by letters patent, to wit, Sable, a dragon dormant to sinister, and in chief, two arrowheads inverted, all ghouls, fimbriated ore, a label pooped argent. By our word in hand, this day of April 30th, in the year of AS 45, in the Kingdom of the West, J. Rex Occidentalis, Catherine Reagan. Noble Knights, thank you for your service, thank you for your presence. And we give you our leave to continue to greet your newest member yonder. You have our leave to depart. Long live the king! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Long live the queen! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip!